Welcome to making and treating of steel scores. Today I am going to explain the developments in AF steel making technologies. So let me tell you in the form of flowchart that is main aim of developments took place with the aim to increase the production capacity per annum. If you change the furnace design what will happen if you adapt another kind of processing bottom steering process if you use other than electrical energy such as chemical energy and what else the charge materials can be changed this is how the developments are designed step by step coming to the furnace design instead of low power transformer if you use high power transformer can you get higher capacity yes shell design with respect to the shell thickness shell dimensions if you change will it affect on the capacity and instead of using ac electric arc furnace if you use dc will you get the quality of steel similarly coming to the process if you adapt bottom steering process with inert gases if you adapt can you get the homogenized composition and if we adapt foaming slag if foaming slag is allowed to form will it protect the electrode and will it protect from the reoxidation from the atmosphere and another process scrap preheating pre instead of using the steel as it is if you preheat the particular if you use preheat the scrap steel scrap May, maybe temperature around 40 to 50 degree Celsius temperature changes is it advantages such as moisture get removed and energy consumption will be reduced and tap to tap time will be reduced is it having that particular advantage think about this and chemical energies alternatively if you wait for few more hours allow it for the oxidation reactions and post combustion injecting the carbon so on injecting the oxygen from the side tiers so can you get further carbon reduced and oxy fuel um, burners if you use instead of electrical energy you can achieve the temperature within less of time carbon injection this is oxygen injection if you adapt this thing will you compensate the electrical energy similarly charge material not only hot metal liquid form of pig iron not only using this thing can you use combination of sponge iron steel scrap so all those things is it advantages if you use these things all these particular furnace design process chemical energy charge materials raw materials affect the capacity production capacity per annum so obviously if you follow all these things it gives an idea that it increases the production capacity. Now coming to the one particular part furnace design wing. If you use transformer, what is the main aim of transformer? Fastening the melting of solid charge thereby decreasing the tap to tap time. If you use lower power electric arc furnace, it will give the energy power in terms of energy in terms of power 100 to 200 if it is medium 200 to 400 if it is high 400 to 700 if it is ultra high 700 to 1000 in nowadays for 100 ton capacity furnace we require 70 million watts amperes for 100 tons that means in modern days we are using ultra high power for electric arc furnaces and coming to the electrode what is the main objective of electrode the electrode consumption should be less so how do you reduce if tap to tap time is shorter electrode consumption is made sure reduced and if you use auxiliary fuels instead of electrical energy arc generation it will be electrode consumption will be saved and water cooling if it water cooling is provided for the electrodes continuously electrode consumption can be reduced these are the 
few developments with respect to the electrode the former one is with respect to the furnace design transformers if dc electric arc furnace is used lower electrical consumption electrode consumption will be lowered and arc power is directed to the melt or solid charge and electrode is relatively cooler when you compare with the ac power based furnace noise will be low and the arc stability is more when you compare with ac furnace process and coming to the other parts design earth bottom earth of the electric arc furnace the earth part of the electric arc furnace walls walls of the electric arc furnace roof of the electric arc furnace how does it affects if you need mainly everything is refractory lined if you need longer refractory lining to be achieved and lower time of repair so how do you need to protect all these things few developments water cooling for the side wall as well as the roof is provided that is another development point the other thing is earth volume if we increase there will be there will not be much scam uh, splashing of molten metal if you increase the volume and split shell design you can split half of the part acidic lining half of the part basic lining you can use that is the one of the reason that you can use electric arc furnace for refining it can also be called as a secondary steel making process it is also called as a primary and secondary steel making secondary steel making is further refining primary steel making is only just refining process two things will happen in terms of electric arc furnace that is and you can also split the designs with respect to the wall roof and bottom of this particular furnace earth you can de design refractory lining different for earth part side wall and roof you can split the sections in such a way and eccentric bottom and you can centerize and you can tilt here to for uh, taking out the molten metal and top portion will be slag it can be taken from the the other side you can maintain the eccentric the eccentric bottom design is also one of the development took place in the modern days process coming to the process bottom steering process direct contact to the molten metal using inert gas either argon or nitrogen direct contact so that you will be getting the homogenized composition and temperature constant indirect better uh, instead of uh, extending the this particular uh, refractory lined plug till the molten metal till the atmosphere it is stopped in between molten metal so it is nothing but indirect contact what are the main advantages if you use this kind of steering process is adapted in the case of electric arc furnace it can eliminate the temperature gradient changes higher to lower temperature temperature fluctuations concentration composition fluctuations the chromium is higher and nickel is lower if you want to produce the stainless steel so those particular changes will occur so that can be protected by this bottom steering process tap to tap time instead of 40 minutes it can be reduced to the 20 minutes one heat so that the production capacity could increase refractory lining life electrode power consumption obviously all together will reduce and improves the yield iron content in the molten mam Uh, molten metal produced from the ef steel and alloy content high alloy steels if you want to produce you can produce the high alloy steel and dissolution of the large spaces lump size variation of the sizes also you can melt together and another practice is foamy slag practice foamy slag practice main la, main objective of this particular thing is effective utilization of heat if you allow the foam slag program formed above the slag usual slag so the advantages are heat transfer to the bath is enhanced so how that particular foam slag is formed mainly 
the FeO is slack. The carbon in the molten metal reacts and forms iron and a CO. This particular CO bubbles forms in the slag. Similarly, C plus O in the molten metal reacts again CO bubbles. Chromium in the case of stainless steel making CO bubbles forms. These particular bubbles are embedded within the slag that is pushed to the top of the slag layer that is foamy slag combination of liquid and gas that particular slag is foamy slag the advantages of allowing to form foamy slag practice is e transfer will be there there will be very less heat loss e transfer from the slag to molten metal is higher and it protects the atmosphere reoxidation from the atmosphere from this art metal and arc exposure of arc to the lining it protect this particular foamy slag layer will be formed in three dimensionally not only above the slag layer from the top direction entire furnace it forms even at the surrounding of the wall also so that arc will be produced flushing during the yeah, reactions chemical reactions the lining will be produced if foamy slag practice is produced and the effective parameter slag viscosity what is the slag viscosity and if it is lower you can form the allowed form foamy slag slag temperature and if, if it is a very high temperature you cannot form the foamy slag and FeO content in the slag allows to form CO bubbles now the carbon reacts with this particular let me restart the affecting factors to form the foamy slag one is slag viscosity should be low slag temperature should be low and there should be carbon in the molten metal is higher so that it reacts with the FeO in the slag similarly FeO of the slag will reacts with this carbon and gives CO gas bubbles the other part of this um, uh, my developments is pre eating of scrap if you pre eat the scrap there are different processes conventional scrap bucket this is a scrap bucket charging bucket you keep steel scrap there you eat it so that you will reduce the moisture and it will be also having the some amount of temperature it is helpful and the other method is shaft above the electric arc furnace you maintain the shaft and which consists of scrap allowed to the heat and fall onto the electric car furnace and conveyor type connecting car type continuously it is been closed allowed to uh, the gases which are evolved in the electric car furnace it is recircled so that this scrap will be preheated and sent to the electric car furnace that is con steel scrap preheating system and preheating of by preheating if you achieve the temperature 150 that means you are going to save around 23 kilowatts hour per ton and if it is 540 97 this much energy you are going to save the some of the advantages is energy consumption is reduced overall energy consumption by doing preheating and moisture is removed and electrode consumption is reduced refractory lining is saved and tap to type time is reduced further time this is advantages of preheating scrap ef steel technologies in a nutshell with respect to the electric energy consumption with respect to the electrode consumption and as the years are passing 1965 to 2005 how the changes took place now let me take with respect to the tap to time in 1965 the tap to type time was 180 minutes means three hours one tap to another tap when it was coming to the around 2005 or 2040 minutes tap to tap time is reduced to 40 minutes 180 to 40 now coming to the electrode consumption 
value this particular line is corresponding to electrode consumption it was around 6 kg was reduced for in 1965 after one eat and when it is coming to the 2000 1.2 kg only consumed the electrode and coming to the energy consumption electric energy consumption in 1965 it is 630 kilowatts hour per ton steel this much energy is consumed when it is coming to the 2000 290 only consumed that means that much in terms of tap to tap time electrode consumption energy consumption this much changes are occurred this is very good development in terms of electric arc furnace because of this many of the private industries have electric arc furnace to produce the steel they may use ferro alloys or scrap or art metal to produce the steel many of the private sectors medium scale sectors uses electric arc furnace to produce steel this is mainly because of the technology development there are another thing secondary steel making electric arc furnace can also be used for the secondary steel making it is started in 1965 there was it was used for only primary steel making after taking out from the shaft or smelting iron or sponge iron produced steel that is only primary steel making route around 1977 secondary steel making you can further refining for the for example producing the stainless steel you can add alloying additions you can further refine you can reduce the carbon content to very low so all these things are decarbonation alloying additions took place within the electric arc furnace that is why it is also called secondary steel making adaption is included in the eaf and around 1977 water cooling of walls was adapted in um, 1980 or 1979 i power uh, electric uh, i transformer electric arc furnaces was utilized and foaming slag was practiced around 1981 and scrap preheating was adapted around 1982 3 scrap reheating dc technology was developed around 1989 around that particular year dc technology was developed so there may be questions on this particular electric arc furnace developments draw the electric arc furnace development in flow shot form and explain one by one it may be the 10 marks question there may be the viva questions and gate examination questions with a conceptual point please prepare now let me conclude this particular lecture electric arc furnace steel production technology the development was main reason to expand the steel making industry in to the private sectors that was the main reason do you agree or not is it true or false Please give your opinion. Thank you.